Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on the uh, grow bed. Uh, so basically I have four 4x4s four laying across the top. They're spread at about 36 inches. 36 inches, I have the one directly in the middle at 18 inches. Uh, so that should give just enough support for everything. Um, the grow bed itself is going to be three feet by six feet. Um, I just decided that making one grow bed instead of two uh, just saves on the pipe costs and doing everything like that. So I'm using plywood. Um, I had Home Depot cut it at three feet width. So this is a three by eight sheet. So I'll just end up uh, cutting that on one end um, so I'll go ahead and put that on there and show you what it looks like and then we'll get to cutting that section. Alright, so in this section I'm just using these uh, two and a half inch wood screws with my impact driver. <clears throat> if you have just a regular cordless drill, um, this thing makes everything twice as good for screwing in screws. Uh, it just kind of does it at a better thing and you don't strip as many screws or anything like that so I got the board all laid out and I'm just gonna put screws on each end so I'll have six in there probably three in the middle and then I'll go ahead and cut that so we'll go ahead and start with that and might as well film it So it's just nice that I don't have to put any pressure whatsoever um, on this thing and it just works pretty good. So I'll do the other ones. This is the screw that I'm using. need a GoPro for this. And I can do it all one-handed. Oops. Uh. So this should get a nice base. It's thick enough. Um, I'm going to put the pond liner on top of it. So I'll go ahead and finish screwing the rest of it and come back with some more video. Okay, and last but not least, I marked this at six feet. Um, I'm going to cut it with the circular saw. And uh, I put this board up so I can kind of guide as I go across because I don't really have an exact mark. So let's see if I can film doing that. See if the camera holds up or not. and there we have it our grow bed is done on the bottom and now I'm going to build up the sides with two by fours probably three high um, and that way I'll have about 10 inches or so tall by three by six feet um, I'll just have to cut one more side probably use a handsaw because I don't have anything big enough to cut this four by four on this side and that kind of gives you the general overview of that. Um, furthermore, I need to make sure it's level and then I'm gonna drill a one and a half inch hole for the piping that's gonna go in. So we'll do that in a bit. All right, this I'm cutting the two by fours um, at six feet. I have six of them. So these are going to be on the edges of that. So I marked them at six feet and I'll cut those with the circular saw.
right, so we got all that cut. And I'll stack these up. Um, I need to cut some more pieces. I'll use these as the braces on the outside. So basically I'll have those stacked up like that. And it'll be kind of like a big garden bed with a pond liner in it. So I'll cut the rest of the pieces and uh, continue on. Okay, so we got the grow bed all done. Um, I put the braces on the side and I just screwed in the topmost rail. So I have two screws going into the 4x4s and then three rows on top. And this should definitely hold the grow bed with rocks and everything like that. Um, so now I need to find which side I want to put the drain in. See if I can see where the bubble is. Uh, let's see here. So it looks like, let's see where that side needs to go up. So this side over here is the high point. Let's check that. Yeah, because I would have to raise up the other side. So in that case, let's check one more time. I'm going to put the drain probably somewhere right there. Um, to do the drain, it's just a one and a half inch uh, spade bit that I got. Um, let's see if I can get it. And this is all it is. So we have the spade bit, we have the bulkhead that's going to go between the two layers. And I'm hoping that'll fit. Uh, but that should be enough room. Yeah. So that'll just go between the plywood. We'll put the, uh, the rubber on top. And then we have the pipe going up about 8 inches or so. And anything that goes above that is going to go down into the pipe. And that's where we're going to do the bell siphon in a future episode. So I'm going to go ahead and do the spade bit and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the spade bit right now and it's just using the same impact driver and the one and a half inch spade bit to go through the plywood. And I measured it out and the PVC bulkhead, this is a three quarter inch or three quarter inch pipe. So it's uh, the perfect size. So we'll see if this works. wasn't the uh, prettiest thing, but probably would work better with a regular uh, cordless drill, but I'll take it and let's see if this thing fits. So we have the pipe, ta-da. So on each end there's going to be the stand pipe for the uh, bell siphon. And eventually, if this doesn't work out very well or it drains too slow, I might have to increase the size. Uh, but this is going to be a standard three-quarter inch pipe going out from the top um, right here. About uh, an inch or so below the top level of this. And uh, we'll have to see how well that does. So thanks for watching. That was the grow bed installation. Um, later on we'll have the pond liner to get set up and I'll do a video on the pond pump and uh, running that from the bed all the way inside of here and it's going to go on the opposite end of the drain and uh, so the water kind of goes through the whole system. So we'll do that and we'll fill this thing up with uh, goldfish and water and get the pump running hopefully soon. Thanks for watching.